Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel Learn Russian with Irina. Today's video will be about noun endings in dative case. As you know, it is the third case and before you start learning this one, I recommend that you watch my previous lessons about cases of nouns in Russian language. So, let's start! The dative case responds to the question to whom. In Russian we usually use a sentence that sounds as who we are passing something to. We are passing something to him, for example. Let's look at how the noun endings in singular form will change in the dative case. Comedy. Comedia. Comedy. Spring. Весна. Весне. Thunder. Гром. Грому. Heart. Сердце. Сердцу. Path. Путь. Пути. Child. Ребенок. Ребенку. Field. Поле. Полю. Mouse. Мышь. Мыши. Authority. Власть. Власти. Now the nouns in plural form. The good news is that here you'll see only two noun endings, which are am and yam. And that's it. They are very easy to remember. Let's look at the examples. Papers. Bumagi. Bumagam. Cats. Koshki. Koshkam. Uncles. Dadi. Dadiam. Trees. Derevia. Derevyam. Seas. Maria. Mariam. Open spaces. Prastori. Prastoram. Steps. Stepi. Stepiam. So, as you know already, in order to form a noun ending in any case, you should start with the noun in singular form in the nominative case. Let's take, for example, the noun box. Karopka. It sounds like karopka in singular form in the nominative case. What type of declension this word refers to? It is the first type, as it's feminine gender and the ending is a. Okay? Now, we know that the nouns with the endings a or ya in the nominative case will have the endings ye or i in the dative case. So, how the word karopka will sound in the dative case? Karopke. And that's it. Let's look at the next slide to understand better what I've explained now. The noun karopka, a box, has singular form, feminine gender, and it's the first type of declension. The ending a changes on the ending ye in the dative case. Any word that we have is karopke. Karopka. Karopke. Good. And that'll be all for now. I hope everything is clear in spite of a very difficult topic in Russian grammar. Please keep practicing and ask me any questions that you have in the comments section. Have a great day. See you soon. Пока-пока.